Hello everyone! This video will show you some of the cool new features that come with the Sketch Club 3 update. There's a ton of new stuff in the latest update, so this video will just get you familiar with a few of the bigger things. With the latest update, you'll notice there is this new tag thing in the corner of the brush settings panel. It starts off set to all, and we see all of the presets in our brush library. You can tap it and then choose one of the built-in tags. This filters down what you see in the settings panel to just brushes with that tag. There are so many new settings and parameters for the brush engine, so to keep things manageable, they're now divided up into tabs. The stroke tab has settings that apply across the entire stroke. The shape tab controls the appearance and behavior of the brush tip. The Texture tab controls how texture and patterns are applied along the stroke or across the canvas. The Blend tab is for settings controlling how the stroke is mixed with your canvas. And the General tab is for some extra settings for the brush. One of the great new features of the brush tool is its color mixing system. Now you can control how much paint the brush emits as well as how the paint from the layer mixes back into the brush and gets dragged along with it. The settings for all this are under the Blend tab, and you can tap the Help icon here for additional details on each of the different options. There's a whole new set of built-in brush presets under the Paint tag that make use of the color mixing. Also under the Blend tab are the new color jitter settings. So with the Stamp mode, each individual instance of the shape gets a slightly different color. With the stroke mode, every time you start a new stroke, a different color is used. And with the smooth mode, the color varies smoothly within the stroke. You can separately adjust how much jitter you want on the hue, saturation, and brightness based on how much you want each shape or stroke to stand out from each other. The brush tool has new stroke smoothing options to reduce wiggles and shakes from your hand. With the real-time option, you can see the smoothing and tapering update as you draw. You can disable this for more expensive brushes or slower devices. To create your own brush, it's easiest to start with an existing brush that is close to what you want, duplicate it, and then change the settings. You can now easily change the shape for a brush by tapping the image on the shape tab. This also gives a new library option where you can conveniently choose shape images from your other brushes. With the texture image, you'll find an extra edit button, which lets you easily make a photo into a seamlessly tiling texture. Thanks for watching and have fun with all of the new updates.